Hello everyone, this is Angel Soriano and I sure hope that your day is as good as mine, okay? I was just working a bunch of personal protection dogs today and it reminded me of a question that I'm asked quite often and that is, how to choose a dog for personal protection work? Today on Daily Dog Man. You know, there are a lot of things that I love doing around here, okay, at K9 University, but none of them really compare to, to working personal protection dogs. They're just fun, okay? They're energetic, they're confident. Uh, these dogs work my butt off, which for some reason I truly enjoy. First, I feel the need to define the word personal protection as it relates to dogs, okay? It is often misunderstood in my world, okay? So let's first talk about what they are not. They are not dogs that bite indiscriminately. Does that make sense? If your dog bit someone once, it does not necessarily make them a protection dog. It may make them a possibly dangerous dog. It is not a dog that barks at the fence line all day long. That is usually a lonely dog or possibly driven by fear. These are simp simply behaviorally challenged animals, right? It is not a sport dog. The two are often confused. A sport dog, such as a Shih Tzu dog, is trained to be a competitor first, not a defender. You could make them that, but it doesn't start that way. Now, a personal protection dog is a dog that listens to every defined set of commands and executes them as they would any other obedience command, right? If you tell a well-trained dog to sit, you expect him to sit. If you tell him to stay while you walk across the street, you expect him to stay while you walk across the street. Does that make sense? By the same token, if you tell your personal protection dog to bite, you expect him to bite. When you command him to stop, you also expect him to stop, period. A well-trained personal protection dog is like a ninja fighter, okay? They will defend you and your family till their very last pulse. You command the game, no exceptions. A well-trained personal protection dog is expected to learn at the very minimum to alert bark, to bite, to call off, to stop, and to recall. No exceptions also. Now, by now, you probably understand how I am wired and my expectation levels from a, for, from a protection dog, right? So let's dive into a temperament that is ideal for this type of work, okay? Ultimately, you'll need a dog with one, sound nerves, confident, two, heroic in nature, independent, three, must have good predatory drives, likes to chase, likes to hunt, etc. Four, must have good defense drives and react well to suspicion. All of this can be tested easily in an in a, uh, adult dog. And a lot of these traits can also be addressed and tested relatively well in puppies as well, okay? Five, typically you want a defensive breed as they are genetically built to have a stronger bite, a stronger grip, which is critical if you're under a real assault, right? As to how to choose a dog for this work, it is much easier to simply ask a professional to test a dog for you. Um, we all have a ruler to gauge the dogs against. This ruler is based on past experience um, and based on the thousands of dogs we trained over the years. The dog has to measure up against this ruler of ours and just know that every trainer is going to have a different ruler based on their own experience, their own quantity of dogs, and their own quality of dogs they've seen over the years. Okay, so the ruler is going to vary depending on the person you talk to. So let us assume you'll do this test yourself, which is the reason for this video. Okay. You should then use a good aptitude test, such as the one that we have on our website. There'll be a link here and in the comment section, just go to it and get, get fluent on what it is that we would like you to do whenever you're testing a dog. And know that a variation of this same test has been used since the late 1800s to qualify dogs for different purposes. If you follow this test routine, you'll want a dog that tests well in the areas of social attraction, social following, dominance, retrieving, prey, defense drive, pain sensitivity, perseverance, nerve, suspicion, forgiveness, not a short order. But if you do this right, you'll have one phenomenal defender that will be easy to train for this purpose and will give his life for yours. May sound very sad, but it's exactly what you need if your goal is to have a personal protection dog. Okay? so. Uh, for now, go over to the test that I mentioned earlier. It's hard to, uh, it's really not that hard to execute and you will yield some pretty excellent results if you stick to the data, okay? Not your emotions, you know, don't 
talk yourself into the dog, stick to the data, okay? As I've already mentioned earlier, you can make it easier by just engaging a professional to do the test for you. Uh, we're all wired for this, we all know what to look for and we can help you. Now, do get multiple opinions if you go in that direction. That's a smart approach no matter what you do, okay? No matter what you're shopping for. Now, the last, very important, remember that the only thing that two trainers will ever agree on is what the third trainer is doing wrong. So, use your own judgment and common sense on this, okay? There you go, my friends. There you have it. This is Angel Soriano barking right back at you on Daily Dogging. If you like this video, please help us out by subscribing to our YouTube channel. We also appreciate your comments if you have them. Remember, there are three ways of keeping in touch with us. One, email us at dogman at mycanineu.com. Two, you can sign up to our email list at mycanineu.com forward slash ask the dogman. And three, you can obviously subscribe to this channel by hitting the subscribe button. You can find all of this information in the comment section below. Thank you.